she tailed. Let's ask celebrity star number three. I'm Penny Smith and this is where I work, the GMTV studios. This is my favourite camera, but let me show you around. This is the newsroom. Four o'clock, Monday to Friday. I have to get up. Of course, I get a lovely view as I go over Westminster Bridge and that is just joyous. And I do see an awful lot of sunrises. And there he is, my lovely co-presenter, John Stewart. Miss Smith, how are you feeling? Oh, of course, I'm not feeling at all nervous. I know it sounds really corny, and it does sound like something out of the Waltons, but we are like a big happy family. Lorraine. Hello. Being gorgeous. <laughs> Stars in their eyes. Hello. Yes. Very brief. <laughs> I can't imagine working anywhere else now. I know that I have worked here for 108 years, despite only being 37. Um, but it is a fantastic job. Penny is an exhibitionist. I think for the purposes of Stars in Their Eyes, I think that works. Oh, lovely. I think she was trying to say. I'll be with you, girl. I'll be watching you and good luck. I don't know who she's going to do, but whoever it is, she'll be cracking. Good luck, love. Good morning. The headlines at eight. The bit of Stars in Their Eyes that I'm really looking forward to is the end. Meatloaf? You're never going to get away with it. I can have a glass of wine and chill out and reflect on the career that I had. Are you still here? I've got to practice. Oh! <laughs> Rocking right around the clock, here's Penny Smith. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Now... I'm always quite interested to find out, what were your family reactions when they knew you were coming on the show? I phoned my parents first. Mm -hmm. uh, they've lived in Cyprus for about 15 years and my mum said, is that a new show? <laughs> um, <laughs> We've been going for quite a few years now. I know, bless them. Then I tried to phone my brothers. They've been out for weeks, I think. Um, my sister said, can't talk now, the dog's savaging a rabbit. Um, and that's it, really. <laughs> and how about the guys are down at GMTV? Because I watch, I watch you every morning as I'm getting ready and all that kind of stuff, and it looks as though you have real fun. No, we do. Can you imagine how hideous it would be at four o'clock in the morning if there was a really nasty atmosphere? Right, I've seen you yeah. sneaking into the news yeah. desk a little bit late. I know. <laughs> I've seen you do that. You see, that's the problem with those, those tempting buns in the green room. <laughs> Sometimes they have to be eaten. And how are you feeling about being here? Because all the celebrities that have ever mm. been on the show have always said, oh, it's so nerve-wracking. And it seemed yeah. like such a good idea at the time. I'm not even sure it seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't think I even said yes at any stage. I think I got measured up and I kept saying, I don't think I really want to be doing this. I I'm not ready to finish my career quite yet. <laughs> OK, well, give us some clues as to the person you're going to be. Ex-bunny girl, ex-waitress, yes. born in Miami, uh, 70s rock icon. So, so you may ask, why am I doing it? <laughs> <laughs> she sang Atomic, Heart of Glass, and, of course, the song that I'm singing tonight. Fantastic. So, come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I am going to be Debbie Harry. Debbie Harry! <laughs> Off you go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Singing to me live, Penny Smith is Debbie Harry.
<laughs> well, you look sweet, swim. <sighs> what a sex bomb. But oh. isn't, isn't this a very late night for you? You may it be is, doing I'm... Rock Goddess, but... Well, it's all right. It's a Saturday. I can lie in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> how was it behind those doors? Because you said to us that you'd be going through complete meltdown. So how was it behind there? Well, there's bits of me still there. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> and were you a Debbie Harry fan when you were younger? Yeah, of course. Were we all? Yeah, I absolutely. thought we all were. We all went through that. What and why on earth I decided to choose a 70s icon, I have no idea. Well, we thought you were fabulous. Anyway. Wasn't she great? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Penny Smith as Debbie Harry. Yeah.